Hi, welcome back. Uh, I have another great appetizer for you today. This one is great for the spring or summertime. It is a pea and prosciutto crostini. So they're nice little um, toasty breads. We're gonna broil them in the oven, put a little bit of garlic rubbed on that, and then we're gonna make like a really nice like pea mixture that we're gonna put on with some uh, garlic, uh, lemon flavor, olive oil, some Parmigiano Reggiano in there, and then we're going to top it with some nice prosciutto on the top. So stay tuned. So this is a really easy one. Uh, to get your ingredients together, you're going to be needing some peas. You can either use frozen peas or you can get them fresh from the produce section. Um, you'll also need some Parmigiano Reggiano cheese, you'll need some prosciutto, some kosher salt, also some extra virgin olive oil, as well as a lemon. We are going to uh, basically juice the lemon as well as take the zest from it, so it's going to be really delicious. Uh, we are also using some uh, garlic and then some fresh mint, and then you'll need a baguette as well. So. Get your uh, list together and um, meet me back here in a second and we will get the breads going. Okay, so for our first step, I'm just gonna get all of my ingredients to the side here and then I'm gonna work on my baguette. I like to usually get all my stuff ready, that way I am able to just kind of throw everything together. So I'm just gonna move this to the side what we are going to do is slice our baguette into nice diagonal slices. And I'm going to do maybe about 12 of them. This is good for about 12 servings. You can use whatever baguette you like. If I can find a, like a ciabatta loaf or have time to make one fresh, I uh, prefer to have that. If you can't use that, then just um, get like a nice Italian uh, baguette that you can get at the store. You can do French as well. And then I like to always slice on the diagonal. Um, it, they actually come out a lot prettier and then you have a little more surface area to put your yummy goodness on the top as well. So let me see, I've got three of them there. For this is a great uh, appetizer, like I said, that you can uh, bring out spring and summertime. It's really nice, especially with the uh, fresh or uh, frozen pea flavor. If you uh, flavor that up really good with the citrus lemon, it's really delicious. It's a nice little snack that you can put out. And it adds something also fresh to the table um, when you're putting your appetizers out for your little get together that you're having. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead now and take my baguette slices and I am going to brush them all with olive oil and put them under the broiler in the oven. You're only gonna need a minute or two on each side. So really keep an eye on it so it doesn't burn on you. You're going to enjoy this one. It'll be good. So I'm just going to continue with my brushing now with, with the olive oil. Okay. Okay, so my breads are done. I just have them cooling now. I basically broiled them on each side, about a minute or two on each side and I'm just going to let them set out. What you're looking for is a nice golden brown like this, so just watch your oven carefully so that they don't burn on you. And then um, right now, while these are cooling, I have a pot on the stove of salted water, and I'm just bringing it up to a boil, and then I'm going to basically flash my peas. So we're only going to cook them. These were frozen, so they only need about a minute or so. If you have fresh peas, maybe you give it an extra minute, so maybe two minutes on that. So I'm gonna get my peas um, going right here. I 
Okay, it's been about a minute, so I'm going to get my peas out of here. What you're looking for is just, um, just enough so that they stay tender and they keep that nice fresh green color. When you overdo peas, um, they'll kind of get that almost like a muted look. But this is nice and fresh spring green still. Okay. Then I'm going to just set this out just for a minute or so to start to cool a little bit and then I will mash the peas and we'll create the pea mixture. All right. Okay, so next step that I've started on, I'm taking a bunch of prosciutto slices and I'm basically cutting them in half. They're little tiny um, breads, so we only need maybe about half of a slice per bread. And I'm just making um, just little prosciutto bundles, if you will. And I'm stacking up 12 here. And then I also took some fresh mint and I have um, diced that up. You can, um, you can either chop it really small or you can um, make like ribbons when you're cutting it, however you like. And then I'm gonna use that to just kind of um, sprinkle over the top at the very end along with some um, extra Parmigiano Reggiano cheese. So just finishing up these little prosciutto bundles and then um, I was doing that basically while I was letting my peas come a little bit to room temperature. And then basically what I've also done is I have smashed my peas with a fork. Uh, you don't want a complete puree, um, or I guess you can if you, if you prefer it that way. But I've just basically smashed it with the fork so it's mostly smashed, but there's still a little bit of texture to it. So. I'm now going to add the rest of my ingredients in. So I'm going to add the Parmigiano Reggiano cheese, sprinkle that in, a little bit of kosher salt, and you'll also want to taste the mixture at the very end and see if you think it needs a little bit more salt. I'm going to add some extra virgin olive oil. Get that in there. I'm going to do half of a lemon. I'm going to do the juice from half of a lemon. Just going to squirt that there. This is a nifty little thing I got years ago from a pampered chef party, I think it was. Really nice. Just squeeze it through and you get all that yummy citrus lemon juice. They also have ones for limes and ones for oranges. All right, so this lemon adds a really great uh, fresh flavor for you. Okay, so there's that. I'm gonna keep the lemon because we're also gonna zest the lemon at the very end to sprinkle over the, the whole um, platter. Okay, just mixing that up. And then the very last thing I'm going to add in here is a garlic clove that I've diced. You want to make sure when you're chopping the garlic clove you get it pretty small so you don't have huge chunks of garlic in your mouth. You just want that flavor from the garlic, but not overpowering. All right. Just going to smash that and get it in there. And then we'll be ready to assemble our crostinis. Okay. If you've enjoyed uh, this video, uh, please check out the rest of the videos on the channel. There's tons of different appetizers on there. There's a few cocktails. Uh, and then make sure you subscribe so you can get an alert whenever um, I do post a new video. So this is a really simple one. It really doesn't take all that long to put together. And it's a nice fresh addition to your table with appetizers. Okay, so good mix and we are ready to assemble our crostinis. Okay, so I have assembled my platter here. Just have a cute little mini platter with all of my crostini breads that we made earlier. 
we have finished our pea mixture, so I, I am basically going to top each crostini with my pea mixture, then some prosciutto, a little uh, sprinkle of our fresh mint that we have, and then maybe a little bit more Parmigiano Reggiano cheese, and then finally topping it off with the zest of my lemon. So, and then we will be ready to dig in. So I hope you enjoy this one. Again, if you haven't subscribed, make sure you hit that subscribe button and share with your friends. Thank you.